Sunday. It's not so happy. Look at this crappy weather. It's cold and gross. Like everything yesterday wasn't. Today is like the polar opposite weather-wise of yesterday. Yesterday was the most beautiful day. It was sunny. The temperature was perfect. Everything was awesome. This is the like the negative of that. The negative image of that is this shitty day. And all I want to do is just go home and go back to bed. But I can't. No, I got up this morning. I got up early. I got some work done. I went to an exercise class and I went back home and I did some more work and I realized, shoot, I'm almost out of my synthroid. I have hypothyroidism and um, it was borderline for years, for years and years. It was like, you know, almost, almost hypothyroid, but not quite. Um, and then when I had my younger son, it just, my thyroid just said, you know what? I give up, I quit, I'm not doing this anymore. And it just kind of, it just, it didn't completely quit working, but it, it said, screw you, I got better things to do. It kind of went on permanent vacation. So I found that out. Lord, Lord. If there was anybody back there, I just splashed a big old mud puddle in the road. So after, not long after I had my second child, I was really tired, but I mean, that made sense because he didn't sleep through the night for the longest time. And, you know, I had a, a four-year-old and I had a full-time job and I was on my own. I was doing it by myself. And so it's like, well, of course I'm tired. I'm a freaking zombie. I mean, you know, <laughs> I've got too much going on. So I was really tired all the time. And um, around, let's see, my son was about six months old when they did blood work where I used the firm I used to work at once a year they would have one of the hospitals come in and they would do a full panel of blood work on you for a severe a seriously reduced price it was really cheap and I got it done I had just had the full panel done you know it's, it was like $75 to have get like full blood work done it's a really good deal so anyway I got it and everything I wasn't I don't remember anything being no or anything but the lab called me when they did my thyroid stuff they called me from the lab which freaked me out they called I didn't even get my results back yet they called me as soon as they did them and said yeah you need to um you need to go like now and get your thyroid check have it done again go to your doctor and have it done again because your results are coming back your, your TSH, your thyroid stimulating hormone is just off the charts. I mean, you've got to go, go get them, to, go get it done again to confirm. And so it scared me, but they said, don't be, you know, don't freak out or anything, but you really need to go get it done again just to confirm these numbers that we're getting. Because it looks like you've got a thyroid issue that needs to be looked at. So anyway, I went, you know, I called my doctor. I said, oh my God, you've got to get this done. So... They, they, were, they did it again, did the blood work again, and it was really bad. My thyroid had just basically just went kaput. It just said, no more of this. So I have been on uh, Synthroid now for 12, over 12 years. So once a year, I have to go get my blood work done. And um, I didn't realize I was about out of Synthroid until this morning. And I realized, crap, i got to go get... I'm out of refills. I gotta go get my blood work done again once a year. So I called my doctor's office and she doesn't have any appointments for like two weeks. But they said she's here today. If you wanna come in and wait and see if she can fit you in, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll see if we can get you fixed up. So um I would make my appointment for the following year, but she likes for me to wait and just do it closer to the time because I, I think her schedule is just crazy because she works in a couple of different places. And she said, just wait until closer to that the year and then make your appointment so I'll know where I'm going to be. So, <laughs> I forget every year to do it. I, I run it. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. Um, it would be easier if I could just like, you know, when I go in today, make my appointment for next year so I know when to go, but she doesn't like doing it that way. 
because, like I say, she works at several different places around town. She works at the hospital some, she works at this place, and so I need, you know what I need to do? I just need to put an appointment in my phone for next year, like the beginning of April, you know, make your appointment. Go ahead and get the appointment scheduled so you don't run out of Synthroid because I have enough for like a week and that's about it. Anyway, so they have to draw blood. I think it's two vials they draw. Send it off. Check my levels and see if my Synthroid dose needs to be adjusted in. It's micrograms. It's measured in micrograms. And my dad, anytime this comes up, he says the same thing to me all the time. He said, you don't need to be taking that. He's, he's very much against like modern medicine. Like, you don't need to be taking that mess. You just eat you some sea, seaweed. Eat you some seaweed every day. Sea kelp. I'm like, I did sea kelp. I went to the doctor and I take synthroid. I sea kelp. Eat you some sea kelp. You don't need that thyroid medicine. You eat that and you'll be fine. I said, the levels are very delicate. You know, this is something that I want it monitored every year in case it gets worse. You know, I may not know it. That's why I get it checked every year. Oh, you don't need to do that. I don't know why he's so invested in it. Like, it's not costing you anything. Why do you care? But he just, you don't need to get your blood work done. They're just trying to get money out of you. Like, they're not really getting a lot of money out of me. A three-month supply of the Synthroid at Walmart is like $10. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. Ten bucks every three months, I think I can afford it. The blood work, um, my insurance doesn't pay for labs. So I have, it's bullshit, I know. But my insurance is such crap. I did learn something, though, from one of my other doctors. Um, and I didn't know this. Um, see, I'm self-insured. If you've ever been self-insured, you know how crappy that can be sometimes. You pay a lot of money for terrible coverage. But I have to cover myself and my kids. So I want to make sure I have insurance for three of us. It's expensive, though. But one thing you can do, and you have to talk to your doctor about it, if you have to get lab work done, talk to your doctor and see if you, if you don't have insurance or if your insurance doesn't cover it. Talk to your doctor and see if you can make an appointment with them. Go straight to the lab and have the draw done there and pay cash for it because the doctor's office negotiates a price with the lab through your insurance and it's probably going to be a lot more if you do it that way but if you go straight to the lab and get your get your draw there and pay cash for it it may save you a lot of money and that's what i'm going to start doing not today for this because I, I i don't have time to schedule that right now plus i have to go in there anyway for my checkup she has there's a cat hair on me all of my cats right now are shedding like crazy you can brush them 20 times a day and there's still just damn cat hair everywhere aggravating but if you can if you can work it out to go straight to the lab and pay cash for your lab work you don't have to give them insurance information or anything just tell them you're a cash pay and uh and they'll give you a lower price they'll give you that cash discount it's cheaper than if they go through an insurance company it might be a way to save you some money especially if you have to get blood work done a lot which fortunately i don't um, I have to get this thyroid thing done once a year, and for the most part, that's it. Um, so, yay. So, it's raining, and I get to get stabbed and, you know, come after me for two vials of blood. Whee! It's just a, a rip-roaring day, isn't it? Now, it's not bad. I don't reckon it could be worse. But yeah, my dad's always on me about, you need to eat sea kelp. I said, I would rather have just hyperthyroid than eat damn sea kelp. No, no, you take the supplement. You take the capsules. No, thank you. He tried to give me some. He had a whole bottle of it. Here, take that. I said, I don't want it. Take it. He'll hang on to something. Boy, he will not let it go. I'm the same way. I can't say anything about him. I'm the same way. I'll get hung up on something. I won't shut up about it. I'm like, Lord, I sound just like my daddy. What else has happened? Absolutely nothing. It's Monday. It's rainy. It's cold. It's 40 degrees outside. I got my coat back on. I swear. I'm sick of this mess. Well, anyway, I hope you have
had a good weekend. Mine was great. I had a good day yesterday. I didn't do a whole lot. I got a little bit done. I went to a class and did some housework. And that was about it. It was a pretty, pretty day. Really nice day outside. Um, not today. Although after the, the rain is supposed to stop later and then on through the week every day it's supposed to get a little bit better weather-wise. It's supposed to warm back up. So that'll be good. Um, I thought of a couple of stores I want to go to to do a video. And one of them is Golf Galaxy. Do you have any interest in seeing around the inside of Golf Galaxy? I've never been in there. It's over by Costco. And I saw it the other day. I went over to Costco to put some gas in my car. And I said, oh, you know what? We should go. It's a big, well, I don't know how big it is. It's a fairly good sized store. It's Golf Galaxy. I mean, shoot. It's a galaxy of golf. I couldn't imagine anything worse except maybe, I don't know, vegetable lasagna galaxy. That'd be pretty boring. Golf Galaxy. What? So, I thought about doing Golf Galaxy, and I want to go back to Ulta Beauty. Now, I don't know about Golf Galaxy, but at Ulta Beauty, that's another store that plays loud music. Loud, loud music all the time. I would probably have to do a voiceover if I did one in there. Probably Golf Galaxy, too. I just imagine Golf Galaxy is either super quiet or super loud. They probably have to have loud music to keep their salespeople from falling asleep in there. Like, golf is just boring. I, if you like it, that's awesome. I think that this, the little, if you ever saw the skit that Robin Williams did about the, inventing the game of golf, it is hilarious. It is so funny. And how the hell do you come up with a sport like that? It's really funny. I like it. It was, it was good. Um, so Golf Galaxy and Ulta Beauty again. Probably with a voiceover. Uh, but I don't want to go do it today because it's gross outside. Maybe later in the week when it's not so gross. That might be an option.